Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a t-shirt scarf. It's really simple and really cute. You can double it up, kind of wear it as like a necklace. Um, all you're going to need is one t-shirt. It can be plain or it can have writing on it, but just make sure that it doesn't have a seam. You do not want something like this. You don't want this seam because that's going to mess you up in the next few steps. So you need your t-shirt, seamless, and a pair of scissors. These are really small, but they will work. The first thing you want to do is just go ahead and cut the top half of your shirt off from armpit to armpit. And don't worry about making straight lines or if they're jagged, don't worry about it. It'll all work out in the end. Alright, so this part we can discard. We might use it later, might not. You can, nope, you can't even use it as a crop top. Alright, moving straight along. Now you just have this bottom section. What you're going to want to do next is cut off the seam on the underneath. Just go along the whole entire bottom of the shirt and get rid of it. Go ahead and double this piece in half, or if you want, you can go ahead and do it straight across. It's just kind of easier to do it this way. And go ahead and take about an inch size sections and cut straight across. Set the piece off to the side. Just go ahead and stretch it and put it aside so you create a bundle and just stretch them all together. Now you have this big circle. Next, go ahead on the part of the t-shirt that we were disposing of, go ahead and cut off the hem like you did on the bottom of the shirt. Go ahead and take a little tiny section cut it out and since this does have a seam on it, you're going to see what happens when you try to use a shirt with a seam. So go ahead and stretch it. They sometimes have a tendency to want to snap. This one didn't. This one's holding on tight. So we'll just go ahead and cut this one because I was expecting it to go ahead and snip off. Take your string, take your bundle and the new string that you created go ahead and just form a knot. Form it more on the underneath so that it doesn't show. Just do a nice double knot. Nothing fancy. Pull it really tight and then go ahead and snip the excess off. So this is going to help to keep your scarf in place so that, you know, you don't have all these wild little pieces going everywhere. 
and you can get creative with it. You can do multiple colors. You can make it thicker. You can have a ton of strings. You can also take these pieces and kind of just like braid them together to kind of create a cool look. And then do that before you do the little string that we tied on at the end. Just kind of snip three and a half, three loops, braid it together, and you can have a nice braid that goes through the entire scarf. And since this is a pretty big one, I could probably even triple it up. And you can wear it with another one. Kind of gives a cute little look. So just have fun with it. And I would love to see what you guys come up with. So send me pictures and videos. Um, I will post my... Um, I think you can inbox them to me. Anyways, if you can't inbox me your pictures, ask for my email address. Um, my, you can tweet me. I'll put my Twitter name at the bottom. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I can't talk ever as I try and wrap these up, or even during. <laughs> so uh, if you guys have any suggestions as to things I should do in the future, just shoot me an inbox message or leave a comment. And like I said, I would love, love, love to see your guys' scarves. So, all right, take care. Bye, guys.